The OSM show is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Good morning. Welcome to another edition of OSM Live. My name is Travis McDowell, be your host this morning. We're here with Zach Newhouse, Smart Wool Field Service Rep for the Southeast, and we're going to ask him a few questions about Smart Wool this morning. Thanks oh, for being here. You bet, Travis. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, Zach, let's start with what uh, would you say your major job responsibilities with Smart Wool are? Uh, as a field service rep, uh, my main goal is out there to educate uh, the retail staff um, and, and consumers about Smart Wool as a company and our products, um, as well as uh, assist with merchandising and marketing and, and promotional events um, and being a brand ambassador for Smart Wool. Great, great. Um, so Smart Wool is a company out of Steamboat, uh, Colorado, using you know the highest end merino wool from New Zealand. Where are most of the socks for Smart Wool made? Uh, the majority of our socks are manufactured uh, in Cleveland, Tennessee um, and High Point, North Carolina. Um, so here in the southeast, uh, the majority of our socks are going to be uh, locally manufactured. So you'd consider them home sewn? For the most part, I, I'd have to say that that's a, a correct statement. Wow, that is, that is great news uh, for us here in the South. Now, where does most of the product ship out of uh, to our customers here in the Southeast? Uh, most of it's going to come from uh, our warehouse in Danville. Um, so it's also going to be a pretty short um, lead time with shipments, um, having a, an East Coast warehouse um, for our for our socks and our base layers. That's great. So Zach, do you believe in technical boy short for boys? <laughs> Can't say I do, Travis. Um, do you feel the next step in sock technology is moving towards burlap or away from burlap? <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that it's gonna be going away from burlap. I think we've gone past the, the burlap dynasty. So burlap, old school wool, itchy scratchy, uh, well, explain to me, um, you know, what makes a smart wool sock, you know, soft, comfortable, but still be wool, which some sure. folks don't understand. Right. So the wool that we use in a smart wool sock is merino wool, um, which is the finest wool uh, fibers out there. Um, it's a, a real soft, real fine fiber uh, that when, you know, made into a sock um, gives you just a great feel, um, great durability. Um, yeah, just a great, great sock. You know, a lot of folks have, have used those same adjectives to describe my beard. Would you like to, would you like to feel it's it? It's pretty fantastic. I heard it's actually made of wool. It is. It is a uh, surgically implanted merino wool. Um, after experiencing the PhD product um, and the way in which, uh, you know, it wicked the moisture, it stayed soft. Um, it just performed the way I'd like it to. Um, I, I felt there was no better, you know, fabric than uh, for a beard. Um, with our PhD product, we talk a lot about our four degree fit system. Could right. you uh, maybe explain that a little bit um, and how we achieved this new fit? Sure. So the four degree fit system we've put in a PhD sock um, is four support bands uh, through the ankle, the arch, the upper and lower instep. What that does is give you a real custom fit sock that's not going to bunch up inside your shoe. Um, you know, give you a real consistent feel uh, while you're out running, hiking, um, doing whatever activity is that you're doing. Great. Um, we also talk about our wow technology, uh, wool on wool. Could you explain a little bit about you know what we've done there versus maybe what's been the industry standard for so long? Sure. So what wow technology is is wool on wool. Um, what that means is that we've taken the two highest uh, impact zones in a sock, which are the heel and the toe highlighted uh, here, um, and replaced the uh, synthetic splicing in it with a wool yarn. Uh, what that ultimately means um, is greater durability. We're seeing about 30% more durability in our uh, PhD socks, um, also giving you additional benefits of having more wool. Um, in the sock. So do you feel like most customers want a sock that's more durable and more comfortable? That's what you're telling me? I'd have to say that's the consensus out there. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty shocking. So um, to recap, with the PhD product, we're going to have a four degree fit that stays in place better, uh, is more comfortable on the foot. The wow technology is going to make it more durable 
um, keep the benefits of wool in those high impact areas longer. And we've rolled this out to most of the sock collection, is that correct? Correct, yep. Wow. The, the WOW technology is in the PhD series as well as now in our hiking line as well. Um, now PhD, uh, that would mean that most other sock companies out there would be using more of a GED technology, <laughs> um, you know, maybe a two year degree technology, but this is about the highest end technology. So over the years we've had tremendous success with our PhD product, our standard hiking product. Um, where would you say our biggest category of growth has been though this past year? I'd probably say with the lifestyle product. Uh, we've definitely added a lot to the line recently um, and received a lot of positive feedback of uh, the direction it's going. What w would you consider the major kind of design elements or color selection or things like that within you know, the, the casual collection? So casual collection, we, uh, we get the same function um, that we've always had but we've gone away from just your standard casual uh, base colors and added a little funk and a little flair to a lot of our, our casual product to make it uh, fun, fun for the customer to wear. So performance and style, you know, something away from the trail, you know, maybe, you know, wearing it as an everyday sock, whether you're, you know, nurse, teacher, um, short order cook, whatever. So we've talked a lot about the technology of PhD or the other hiking socks. Um, what would you say as a brand um, that excites you about Smart Wool? Um, you know, beyond just the performance of the product, but as sure. a company or as the brand. Sure. So Smart Wool, you know, as a company, as a brand, we are uh, the industry leader um, in the sock in the sock world. Um, you know, we're expanding every day um, to make sure we meet and promote that active mountain lifestyle. We have, you know, that loyal base of customers. We want to make sure that they're outfitted from head to toe in smart wool. Um, and along with that is we have a, a commitment to our communities, to our environment, um, making sure that, you know, all the products we make, um, you know, are for the people um, and we're doing it uh, as friendly to the, to the places that we live as possible. Um, you mentioned kind of the active mountain lifestyle. Obviously, there's folks out there that have worn smart wools for years. You know, they know they love that. Uh, maybe tell me a little bit about the piece that you're wearing uh, today. It's obviously, not a sock. It's made right. out of wool and it's smart wool. So. Yeah, so we've definitely gotten into uh, base layers with our NTS line, um, as well as sweaters and apparel. Um, and the piece I'm currently wearing is actually a thermal mid-layer, um, which will be a, a new product category for smart wool. Uh, this fall um, and uh, we're definitely expanding that side of it as, as much as possible to make sure that we have a product uh, for everybody out there. So a thermal mid-layer might be something I wear over my traditional long underwear but then maybe underneath a hard shell or you know or something of that nature that kind of helps regulate my temperature but um, is maybe an alternative to fleece or something along that line? Yeah, it definitely is. It's uh, you know exactly what the name says. It is that mid-layer piece where you've got a base layer, you have your uh, you know outer shell, um, and it's that additional uh, layer in between that helps regulate your temperature um, and, and keep you warm. So Zach, we've talked a little bit about you know the men's the TML collection. Uh, what would you say were some key pieces in our women's uh, either TML or sweater lifestyle collection? So our uh, quarter zip sport uh, for the women is pretty popular along with our basher v-neck. Um, I'd have to say that our lupine vest uh, that you're currently sporting um, is also one of our, uh, our top pieces. Thank you. Well, Zach, I want to thank you for uh, coming by our showroom today and uh, talking a little bit about Smart Wool and what you do and, and how the product works. Um, we look forward to seeing you back here soon, but also seeing you in the stores of uh, all of our accounts. Thanks a lot. Not a problem, Travis. <laughs> so anyway, what else I mean is we are now Smart Wool, the official sponsor of the Blue Ridge Roller Girls Flat Track Roller Derby League. That's pretty amazing. 30, kind of socks you got. 30 plus women wearing latte stracchinos. Some will be in ski and snowboard socks for their extra cushioning. Um, for all of our lifestyle pieces, just throwing elbows, throwing nuts, wearing smart wools. It's going to be Who's your favorite roller in your year? I would have to say at this point, Gyno Might. <laughs> that is the best name. That is the best.